Oh, I saw in Vegas you got a Lamborghini. Did you really get I got that? A Lam I did get a Lamborghini. No way. Yeah, I'll bro. tell you what. It looks pretty there. Oh, that's beautiful. Steve is such a nice guy, huh? Oh, I love Steve. It is awesome. He's built with such a unique joy inside of him. Yeah, he's a, he's a great person to be around. He is. Yeah. It literally is like being around the sun, kind of. Yeah. It's like the sun just is like hanging out with you Radiate. For a bit. You, get, you get positive energy off him. Mm -hmm. Always good vibes. He surprised you with this? We walked outside to Red Rock and it was <laughs> sitting out there. I had no clue what was going on. Have you driven it at all? Not yet. It's actually... Uh, we, we, it's coming from North Carolina, and it's going to be in uh, Houston when I get back. No way. Yep. You're like, what do you even do with the Lamborghini then? If you, Because if you get home, where are you going to... I'm putting it in my garage. And, uh, the Houston has a lot of potholes, so if I fuck up that a rim or a <laughs> fender, I don't know if I'm shelling out the cash for that thing. I'll just have a <laughs> fucked up sports car yeah, in there. Yeah. It'll look cool, though. It, I think it does. I'll just leave the garage open 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get the hot dog walkers. <laughs> You want to see something? You want to see some horses? <laughs> mm. Yeah, if you just sit in there and, and floor it. Oh, <laughs> did that a couple times. It, yeah. was, it was cool. Yeah, dude, we had a guy that used to ride. They had these girls by us that were twins, I think, or something was wrong with one of them. But they would uh, sit on the back of this, like, Mustang. It was a convertible. And this guy would always drive around like he was cool. And then... Um, he one time like uh, floored it and they both fell off of the Oh back. my God. Yeah. It's like those people that do the wheelies on, on quads and fall off or. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a dangerous game there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit risky, man. Yeah. But yeah. New car ownership is definitely interesting, but a car like that, you can't even hide anywhere, Scott. Oh yeah. I'll tell you that the insurance ain't going to be cheap, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but not after my first crash too. What's up, brother? These rates, brother. Yeah. They're like, oh, you totaled a Tacoma. What is the next thing you want on your ticket? <laughs> it's a it's a Lamborghini, sir. <laughs> Aviator Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah. Look at that thing. It's got wings on it. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be a big uptick, huh? I know. I'm going to uh I'll probably ride it, ride it a couple times. We're keeping it in the neighborhood, just Sunday drive. Yeah, Sunday drive. That's the move. Yeah. Um oh you could do last laps for like women, like senior citizen women that are <laughs> like, like a, have dementia or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh, they have that where somebody will come and take them in a like on a last lap or whatever. Oh yeah, like a <laughs> like a NASCAR little little do around. Yeah, just something you know, just so the yeah, so they can feel that you know, just just feel fun, you know, hang their head out the window or whatever. <laughs> see, see the sun again. You usually <laughs> yeah. if it, they tuck them away in those houses. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, one last yeah. orbit around the neighborhood. <laughs> you you know? got you got to go through two two. It got to go through an airlock to get to grandma. <laughs> it's usually not a good sign. Yeah, one last one last run through the wind before the Lord brings them home. You know, yeah. there's one of it right there. Look last at that. Lap. 83 year old man's birthday wish to ride in a Lamborghini comes true. Dude, you could do this for so many people. I would do that. I'll have prunes and oranges and cottage cheese in there for them. Mm. All that all that stuff. And they can hang their head out the window too. I think it makes them feel good too. <laughs> um I think that would be wonderful, man. But the only thing about a yellow Lamborghini is it's a, also a it's I think it's kind of like a gay um beacon or whatever. Oh yeah. So it's definitely going to attract a a lot of gay men's out there. Hey, take any eyeballs. That's the purpose is for attention here. <laughs> That's it. You got to take what you can get. Look at know? this. They're taking taking pictures of the car. They probably got some hot friends. <laughs> there we go. You know, everything works out there. <laughs> Good it, thing it's black too. <laughs> it's it's gonna, black. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's, oh, I thought it was yellow. It, that we so we took a picture with that one, and then he's sending me one. Oh, so the one you're getting is black. All black, brother. Yeah, because yellow is, look at there, you go right there, and there's a young man already sitting on that one. Shirtless. Yeah, and that guy is looking to meet another guy, probably. Yeah. Maybe not. I'm not saying that. Probably got tape over his nipples. Probably. Yes. <laughs> um, Chafing. Chafing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> because, yeah, dude, I remember the first time we had a gay guy in our neighborhood or a dude, We he said he, he told us he was an EMT or whatever, and he had me and my buddies doing like... um 
CPR on each other, right? Practice. And well, then there was a fire in our neighborhood and somebody got burned. And so somebody's like, we got to run over to Mr. Gary's house. He's an EMT. He can help. And somebody's like, that dude's not an EMT, dude. He's just kind of, you know, he's just a, a gay dude. That's yeah. always perfect on people. <laughs> dude. like, oh, shit, man. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty. <laughs> that's a- well, then what about these certificates he gave us for CPR? Oh, you, know? oh, you, you get your full certified there. Yeah, you, these bitches aren't you, worth you anything. You gave him more than lips. You gave him a little tongue in there, brother. He's, he's trying to breathe. <laughs> I didn't do anything. This one kid, William, was he was a fucking weirdo. But uh, but yeah, we shouldn't have been over there. But it doesn't matter. But but he ended up having a vehicle like that, you know. And this other guy named Big Roy would always play Navy with us at his house. He had one of those big bathtubs. Yeah. Oh my, a bathtub. And we would play Navy over there. There you go. You got underwater torpedoes. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. <laughs> Dude, it was just, yeah, I was just like, uh, I was barely enlisted, so. <laughs> you were just part-time? <laughs> Coast Guard, I think that is. Yeah, he, that's it. Coast Guard, he, he, he's almost in there. <laughs> you never left the port. <laughs> I was Coast Guard, bro. Yeah. I was in active duty. There you go. Helicopter ride. <laughs> <laughs> he's swinging that thing around. <laughs>